So we're here at the new studio. We just got this set up not too long ago. I'm pretty much ready to get back into it and start making a new project, which is what we're gonna be covering today. This one's gonna be an exciting project. It's a commission work. We're gonna start today. I'm gonna bring you guys along from the very beginning and we're gonna figure all this stuff out together. So this work is gonna be for a brewery in Sacramento, California. The owner is a good friend of mine. He knew that I was doing some stained glass work and coincidentally, they are about to be launching a new beer with some stained glass art on the label for the cans and the bottles. So he thought it'd be a great idea if I can make this and then they could hang this up at the brew house just to have it on display. And of course, I'm excited about it. I think it looks really cool and I think it'd be fun to make. So the plan is to go ahead with the lead work on this, 100%, the design looks more traditional for me. I think it's gonna look really good in that style. It's gonna give me a lot of practice on the leaded work. This one is probably gonna be at least a 20 by 20, maybe a 24 by 24. I think 24 is maybe a little too big. That's what we're gonna figure out together. I got the file as a PDF. I turned that into a JPEG. And then from the JPEG, I turned it into a vector based a file and there's a program called Inkscape. It is free online and you can use that to edit your vector based files. Um, so I've gone ahead and played around with the work to eliminate some of the lines, to join some of the lines, to make it easier for stained glass work. This is still pretty new to me, but luckily I was able to get everything fixed and I think we now have the complete picture and we'll be ready to go ahead and blow this up. And I quickly did a print of the file itself here. I've added some lines here to break up that crazy curve because nobody would be able to do something like that or I wouldn't be able to do something like that. And so now there's two pieces changed the bottom base to be more tapered. So these two pieces right there actually work a little bit better. But yeah, this is what is gonna be pretty much our final, uh, it's not the final size, but the final image and the cutout. I got the file saved. We are gonna be heading over now to a print shop. We're gonna blow uh, this file up into that 20 by 20. Let's go. Okay, we got our print and it looks good. That was an 18 by 18 was what we decided on. Um, I thought that was the better size. The 20 by 20 was massive. It just felt like it was a little bit too big. So the 18 by 18 felt nice. And um, I got two copies of that in black and white. Now we have to go to Stained Glass Garden. This is a um, stained glass shop in Berkeley. And it's pretty nearby. I need to go pick up the lead um, that we're gonna be working with and then also the zinc framing. Yeah, we need to get all that stuff, trying to calculate the um, length and everything that we need. So I might have to, um, yeah, let's just get to the place first and then we'll figure that out. <laughs> Damn, they're closed. All right, the shop is closed right now and we're just not gonna make it today. Um, have to go back tomorrow, so I will go back home right now, figure out the length and everything that we need. Let's go check out the glass that we have, see if we need to buy any, any more um, of the glass so we can figure out the colors and let's see what we have in stock. Well, I didn't exactly get to those two things. Back at home, I realized the garage needed some good cleanup before we got started. The camera mount wasn't even set up, the lighting was still packed, and I still needed to run power for everything. After all that set up, I finally got to sit down to have a good look at our prints. I started to roughly add up the length of cane it would take so we'd know what to purchase. But then, life happens and I had to call it a day. The next day I went through all the glass that I had. I rummaged through all those drawers and everywhere else I could think of with glass in it. I came up with a fair amount of glass to complete most of the project and it looked like all we needed were two light blue colors and we used what we've got for the rest of the colors. Now that we know what we need, let's head over to the stained glass shop. All right, we're here. Parking was insane. All right, let's go check it out. Let's see what they got.
Now this is this is what it should look like. Oh, oh okay. stunning! It's, oh, it's like, thank you, thank you. <laughs> yeah, it, it'll be on YouTube. Yeah, it's not on YouTube. Thank you. Searching through the glass selection, I didn't find what I was looking for. Even though they had lots of different varieties of glass available, they checked for me and we ended up having to order the two colors from their supplier, which would take two days to arrive at their store. Really wonderful service and great to know you can get just about anything you need if they don't have it on hand. Along with the glass order, I also picked up some strips of lead cane and a strip of zinc cane. I was able to use their lead cane stretcher, so that was super nice and all the lead is now fully stretched and ready to go. And since I didn't have the exact measurements for the zinc border lengths, we'll figure that out later and cut the zinc cane at home. Um, final count is seven pieces of lead at the six foot lengths. It was so cool I got to stretch them um, on their table as well because they have the stretcher because you have to stretch your lead came. And then I got one zinc uh, six footer, so that should do the border. They didn't have the smooth cathedral glass that I wanted to get in the blues, um, so we had to order that and it will come in in about two days. So I will have to go back and pick that up. I'm getting like a square foot of uh, each of those colors. There's two colors that I'm getting so now, so the total today without the glass came out to be $101, I think. And um, that's just for basically the lead stuff. Um, so yeah, it could add up pretty easily. You know, already the project is like the lead itself and then not to mention the glass and the cost of that. So I'll try to document all this along the way for you guys and just to have you uh, get an idea of how much it's gonna cost you, what the project will be like. Um, if you were to try it out on your own, something similar to this. But we're exploring into this world of the leaded glasswork. And it's going to be super fun. I hope it doesn't take too long, but we're going to get started now. I'm going to head back, start using the glass that we have um, from whatever we've selected. And let's start cutting glass and let's start like laying things out 